All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. Time to look at the Yulophone 27T Pro. And this is the Armor T72 Pro. Lots of features with this thing, man. This has a uh, 64 megapixel infrared night vision camera, a 10,600 milliamp hour battery, and they're calling it a mega battery. It has a uh, thermal, uh, it's Android 14, but this is just another one of those 5G rugged phones that if you end up getting one, you'll probably be having it for a long time. So again, 10,600 milliamp hour battery, 6.78 inch, so basically 6.8 inch full HD plus 120 Hertz display, um, 5G, Dimensity 6300 is in here, thermal by FLIR obviously, 33 watt fast charging, 30 watt wireless charging, 24 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. That is UFS 2.2, so it's not gonna be the fastest transfer speeds if you're a person who needs to transfer data back and forth between your device and your computer. Uh, but it's fast enough, I guess. IP68 and IPS, IP69K military standards have dro drop tests of 810, uh, 50 megapixel, uh, mega shooter, they're calling his megas, <laughs> it's mega, mega shooters, uh, a 32 megapixel uh, front camera. You do have a smart USB connector 2.0, so I'm curious to see how that's gonna work. And again, Android 14. Wow, this is crazy. So let's pop it open here. Pretty interesting here. I love looking at these rugged phones uh, because really these these rugged phones they basically kind of shine on uh the other phones that are out there that are not doing the same thing like you're, you're getting a bunch of phone here uh for this price you end up getting a lot of phone for the price and then phones in the u.s yeah, I think if people, if companies in the U.S. started making these rugged phones, they would become popular all of a sudden. <laughs> you know? But I, I get them in because I think they're very interesting. And I think a lot of people probably really could use this instead of some of the phones they're actually using for their outdoor lifestyle. So like all of these rugged phones, you do get a lot in the package. Like they give you another tempered glass right here, even though it's one on the phone, more than likely. Then you got all of your manuals and instructions and things and they actually also sent over a some more accessories, and I'll show them to you uh, in just a second here. But this one isn't. This actually is not that heavy, folks. You know, when I think about it, it's not that heavy. Uh, you do have your lanyard right here, your Type C, and then you have that 33 watt charging that they offer you. So uh, SIM tray is in the bottom. SIM SIM tool is in the bottom there. So let's put this all to the side here. All right, so uh, again, looking at the front of the device here, there they have everything labeled. So let's go ahead and pop this open here. There we go. They got this thing well protected. So again, everything I read off is right here on the front of the phone like hands down it's, it's going to tell you i read it off the website but it, everything is right here so this is pretty cool so before i peel that sticker off here's the back here this is what the back of the phone looks like really good looking phone and they're letting you know thermal by FLIR. This has thermal imaging, so that's that's really cool. Basically, with the thermal imaging, you can see if something's really hot or the temperature or if it's cool. You know, that's all it is. Uh, you've seen me use the thermal in a lot of the videos before, and um, that's that's what it is. This is actually a really cool design, folks. But this is the back of the phone. You got some branding right here. This is like a soft touch, um, like kind of full carbon fiber feel to it feels really good this soft touch and you've got grip right on this area and grip all around the edges of the phone then you got these metal tabs here and this is your smart connector right here uh for for not charging but connecting it to other things so because uh, it is type c as you can see here it's type c so um this is the spot for your big lanyard but this is that smart connector uh and this is the um 
power button more than likely. No, that's the yes, there, that's your action key. Uh, for you can program that key. Then you got your SD card slot and SIM tray, and you got your volume rocker and your power over here, which doubles as a fingerprint reader. Uh, more than likely, it does. And you got your headphone jack up here because why not? This phone has everything, so it should have an, uh, a headphone jack. <laughs> looks like you got a speaker out up there and a speaker out up here. This might be looks like a speaker out, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get it powered on here. Strong vibration. And again, they give you a tempered glass, but th there's actually a screen protector on here. So there's no tempered glass on here, but there's a screen protector on here, which is cool. So some of us, uh, when we go outside, we'll put cases on our phones. Well, phones like this don't need a case. The case, the phone is the case. I'm just gonna set up offline here gonna go through here all right let's skip this I'll get Wi-Fi and all that stuff going on at some point but I want to get into the phone Wow that is a bright image and what they're doing here is they're showing you like thermals uh, obviously because they want to promote the thermals on here Whew. but essentially folks that's what thermals do so let's change this wallpaper um, uh, let's see wallpapers that's a bright wallpaper I don't know that I'd want to keep that extremely bright wallpaper on there all right yeah here we go this, this is some really nice wallpapers on here look at that wow that's a cool wallpaper and this is running Android 14 so um, you have the ability to do the icons that match the let's go dark theme too the themed icons and you can also do the grids five by five which I think is really good uh, you can see you can theme the icons which is rare on some of these this phone is really running Android 14 because some of the phones that say they are are not they're really not yeah so let's get back in here wallpaper we'll turn off the theme uh, but we'll still keep it on dark mode and let's look at some more of the wallpapers while I'm here I might as well uh, here's another one that's pretty cool Look at that. Oh, that's 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 the one right there. That's really sweet. Yeah, that's really nice. That is a nice wallpaper. Really nice. Let's put all this Google stuff in here. And they have the my Fleur set up there too. Let's go ahead and remove that. We don't need that. Can you remove this? Yep, good to go. I like to see a lot of the screen here, uh, but I like already that it allows you to do uh, the five by five or four by six uh, because this is a big screen, so why not? So let's take a look at the um, phone itself and see if we can see any bloatware. Uh, so you've got Freezer. I don't know what the heck that is. Add a non-system app to freezer and make your phone run faster. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that's about. FM radio is always good. It has a gallery app, which I really like. Gallery app right there. Because uh, I will be taking some photos and everything. So pretty much a stock Android phone with a few of their items on here. You got a remote on here, which is nice. Sound recorder, SIM tool. Yeah, this is pretty much, and it's got themes down here. Let's see what this is. Oh, I need to connect to the internet, so I'll get it connected to the internet. But uh, let's look into the settings here and just see. Oops. Let me let me connect to Wi-Fi real quick. Give give us a little bit more to do here. Checking internet access connected. Now let's see if we can go into themes and see if it pulls up anything. There we go. Loading it up loading effects <laughs> see if it'll load up something in their theme store before we go back into settings because this has to be a theme store it wouldn't be themes nope all right so download man <laughs> themes okay i guess uh i don't know the theme store is down at the moment i don't know uh but anyway let's get back into settings and it might be because of my location as well if i probably if i change my location that might help but check this out here 
a little bit of a skin over the stock Android here, but it does have 256 gigs of storage. That's really nice. Yeah. The system does 22 gigs. That's rare on some of these uh, rugged phones that I get, but this one is really running Android 14 because a lot of the system files for the US are large like that. So you got your Wi-Fi, your mobile network, hotspot, uh, SIMS, VPN, mobile plan, okay. I was kind of looking for NFC. Uh, but don't see in okay there we go I was about to say yeah most of these phones have NFC and NFC is turned on there's the NFC tag up there as a matter of fact so it has NFC these phones have everything man I mean literally they have everything they have loudspeakers on them too man so man yeah the custom key is this key over here yep so you got single press you can change it to pretty much anything you can do um, apps you can you can do anything because you go over here you can choose anything for these for these keys right here so um, I, I think that's it that's important so we're gonna turn off th this is an app um, that is not used in the US so we'll do flashlight just to, just to kind of have it on there uh, but we'll long press it here you can see there's your not a bright flashlight but still it gives you access to something so Anyway, that custom key is pretty nice. Um, yeah, pretty much, man. This is a stock Android phone overall with just a few of their things on here. Let's see if there's an update, a system update. Cause I definitely allow, uh, I, I definitely have gotten uh, updates on here on some of these phones that I get in that are rugged phones. They've gotten updates to my surprise and, and I was totally shocked. They've got a demo mode down there. What? That's, that's nuts. I wonder if the demo mode shows um, like all the phone can do oh okay so it tells you how to enter demo mode okay got it like i was thinking like a store mode okay yeah but basically folks stock android so let's pop open this camera here it's got that old camera application <laughs> now here's where the these phones they don't fall flat on their faces but they just sometimes don't measure up with the megapixels that they say are on the actual phone and this one doesn't have six cameras on the back like a lot of places do uh like they advertise it but uh i am gonna go ahead and let me see if i can do some some thermal next if i can so you got night vision uh you can do there you go you got your night vision wow that is nice and then you got regular video let's see what the video can do there we go video quality 2k yeah, this is I suspect. And these are these are just gonna be, you know, limitations by the processor, I say. You got your photo and you got a film mode here, like that old school film look. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Then you got fifty megapixel photos. Let's take some a photo of something here. Uh ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, clean that like that. Let's zoom a little bit. There we go. Quick shutter, uh, quick enough, decent. Let's grab the uh, brand new Hero Black. Yeah, decent, very quick shutter. Pretty good quality too, man. I ain't mad at it. It's I wasn't expecting that shutter to be so fast. Uh, but it definitely uh, has, has, has pretty good. And then, whoa, in here you've got document correction, night mode, group photo, AI emoji, um, portrait, pro video, sport, dual video. Wow. They are really getting into this, man, with these rugged phones. They are offering so much. Um, if phones like this were to come to the, and this one has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, I didn't mean to turn it off. This one has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery inside, and it is not heavy, folks. I would think you would think it would be really heavy, but it is not for some reason. Like my Pixel 9 Pro, it's about half more. You know, it's, it's not heavy as I thought it would be. My iPhone. 14, 15, oh, 15, oh, I'm naming them down. My 16 Pro Max. It's just not as heavy as you think it will with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. There's no case needed, which is and all this stuff in here. But what is this AI emoji? 
it doesn't give much insight. Oh, here they are right here. You put these little faces on the people when you take them. There we go. Oh, I've seen this before because I've actually I've actually used that before. So when you take a photo of someone, let me see if I, let me see if I can do it for you real quick. There you go. That's what it does. It kind of gives you whatever you know. <laughs> That's funny, man. <laughs> But yeah, man, uh, this is this is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, it's a really nice looking phone. Um, I'll, I'll give you more on it. It's obviously a rugged phone, so it has a lot of ratings and things like that. Like water, dust, freezing weather. Uh, you definitely can put this through the paces. So I'll try to bring you another video on the thermal and also the night vision, if I can remember to do so quickly as possible. But um, basically, you get 80 by 60 pixels when you're doing the thermal. So it's not like this high quality. It's thermal, folks. It's thermal. Uh, you, can, you can go to temperatures of 10 degrees Celsius to 450 degrees Celsius for temperature. So that's, that's impressive. But it, it says it has the upgraded software, too. So let me see here. You don't need my location, homie. All right. Wow. Yeah. The pixels. Check this out. The pixels. Fairly. Cool. And my Mac is what you This is my Mac right here. And that's it right there. You can see my hand, the temperature and everything changes. That's pretty cool. There's your thermal, folks. No big demo needed for that. Everybody knows what thermal can do. But there's a lot of things in this thermal app that uh, really brings it brings it to life. So that's something that you want to play around with. It's not, it's, it's, it, I'm not going to say it's a gimmick, but it's, it's something that, I mean, who's really going to use thermal that much? Not very many people are going to be using thermal. Um, you can check for electrical issues and fire. A, no one's really going to be doing this in the U S when something happens, you're going to be panicking. I could see myself using this to check on something, but not so much something. I'm like, Oh, we need thermal. Okay. Let's just, I got thermal on my phone. Like that's not, it's, it's not realistic. Um, but it's a possibility that you could definitely use it at some point, but mm, the odds. Yeah. But this is a very nice phone. Lots of memory. It's 5g. It works in the U S obviously I've started testing these in the U S and they do work. Um, but, uh, at a good, at a, at a pretty decent price in compared to comparison to lots of phones in the U S um, you know, people, there's a market for this, which is why I show them on my channel. Uh, and I agree to review them on the channel because there is a market for them. Uh, there's a lot of people that watch me that are not in the U S and they want to know. So they search YouTube, just like everybody's searching for the iPhone or the pixel, of the S24 there's there's people that are searching for these phones when they drop and they want to know so it's your man Jay hope you guys enjoyed introduction to the armor 270 pro hope you guys enjoyed I see you in the next one take care